Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you clicked on this video and that you're interested in watching my plant tour. Just a brief little introduction of myself if you don't know me. My name is Megan and in the past I've made teaching videos, but today I'm going to bring you a houseplant tour. Yay! Um, if you didn't know, I actually really love plants. My collection has grown and grown over the past year um, when I started collecting at the beginning of last March. And so I have so many plants to show you. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, there's going to be two parts to this. You'll see this room in part two, but let's go ahead and get into part one. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start in the entryway here. Ah, cute puppy. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys the nicknames. I do know the common and scientific, but I will just post those on the screen as it will take forever to do this video. So I'm just gonna tell you their nicknames. So I just have a couple of fake plants here. And then down here I have Sansa, really great low light plant as this is pretty far from the windows, so, um, but I'll have to move her closer at some point to help her grow a bit. And then over here, we have this cute bar cart and pulled pretty far back from the window, so you can see lots of low light plants here. So this is ZZ, and I had ZZ in a north facing window and I'm gonna try closer to the south facing this time or this summer, I guess. But so cool, it has some variegated leaves, which is awesome. Uh, and then down here we have Marcella. She was fighting some spider mites, has since fought them off and is trying to grow now and has this really cool half moon leaf. I am in love with that. <laughs> and then just a little pearls and jade propagation there. I have this Brasil, lots of growth. I did this makeshift little um, moss pole and I'm not sure how I feel about it, but it's fine for right now. So cute. And it's in this super cute little cat planter. And on this little cake stand from Target. Also these pots um, are from Walmart. Walmart has such cheap pots and they're actually pretty cute. So I always giggle when I see them in people's videos. So shout out if you also have Walmart pots. <laughs> Back here, this is Sandia, which is watermelon in Spanish, which I'm probably totally botched there, but so cute. This is Bubba, one of my oldest plants named after the um, aquatic frog that I had. Check out the video if you're interested. Um, it's like one of my first ones on this channel. Um, and then I'm gonna post next to this what Bubba looked like a year ago when I wasn't like super knowledgeable about plants. And then obviously what Bubba looks like today. And Bubba has even had a um, offshoot at this point. And I will say though, Bubba does need to be watered right now um, or soon as it's getting kind of that translucent look, which is how you can tell that a spider plant needs to be watered. <laughs> I got this super cute watering can from the uh, garden center that I like to go to or greenhouse. On the table, I have this tiny little vase, like so small, with just a couple cuttings in it. And then some more cuttings. That's Tilly, such low maintenance. I often forget about Tilly a lot and has been super good to me. <laughs> some sad propagations, but they're coming back. <laughs> Here are some Syngonium propagations. This is Lagos, my large aloe. ZZ propagations, Pearl Marks propagation. This is Sunflower. I found Sunflower on the ground. Um, someone had literally just like abandoned it. Um, it was fighting off, you can see kind of on the back, it was fighting off some spider mites, uh, but has since gotten rid of them and tons of new growth here at the top. So I'm super happy about that. This is one of my dad's plants. 
some green onion. This is Margas. This is Eros. Started from a tiny little cutting. So cute. Also, Margas is very slow growing. And so I try to put Margas in this south facing window. This is like almost perfectly south this way. Um, so hopefully the south facing window helps it grow a lot this summer. My dad said plant because he overwatered it, even though I told him not to. <laughs> um, this is Margaret that I got from a student. The leaves or the flowers are kind of um, dying off at this point, but it pretty much blooms all year long. So super cute. A couple succulents, very atoliated um, for this one anyways, that's flowering. So I'm hopeful that this nice bright south facing window will help it to grow a little bit more normal <laughs> compact i don't know then i have my string of hearts silver glory i was literally looking for this everywhere because i love my string of hearts and it's doing okay it's in this tiny it was sent in this tiny little terracotta pot so i have water about every two days and yeah and then just some green onion so we'll come back over this way. I just have a couple of, and we are definitely going to be redoing our deck, so don't mind that. But I just have, um, I don't want to go outside right now, but some succulents and then Franklin. I am going to be um, getting them acclimated to outside now that the weather is getting a little bit nicer or when it is nice, about 60 degrees or so. Um, and then I'll bring them back in when the weather or when the temperature goes back down today. More succulents. This is Patty. Um, obviously a propagation from Franklin out there. Here we have Raven. And Raven has a new little offshoot here. So cool. More propagations. And this is in, um, separated from Raven. I have two of them here that I'm hopeful that I'm going to sell on my Etsy shop. Then we have more propagations. This is Mira. She's so cute. And this really cute planner that I got from one of the local garden centers around here. Ooh, another Walmart pot. <laughs> Um, and then, oh, up here we have Mia. She's been kind of struggling and I'm not quite sure how to fix it. So, um, if you have any suggestions, please let me know. Then we have Rudy. I love how much Rudy has changed and grown. Literally, Rudy was like a couple of these little bottom leaves and it has since, I don't know, just so beautiful. So beautiful has this really cool variegation here on the inside. I like that a lot. And then this is Nana. She was fighting spider mites and I'm hopeful that she'll make a comeback, but wish me luck guys. Then um, this is a newer plant. It is my whale fin. Can't remember the name right now. Also, I'm gonna be putting some pictures here when they arrive in the mail. But they haven't yet so just some picture frames <laughs> and then i have phil here just a normal green philodendron um growing like crazy all year long i put a moss pole in here so we will see on it's on this like old hanger i'll probably move this one outside when the weather gets a little bit nicer down here we have a couple of um, friends who were fighting off spider mites, so they all look kind of sad. But I have the humidifier by them in hopes that maybe that will help ward off those spider mites. So this is Perp Reynolds. And then uh, next to it, I have my Levoit humidifier. I love it. It is a top filling. And it just blends, not blends in, but like just looks really nice and elegant next to it. This is Dracaris, a Puba Calyx cutting, and this is Panama, also recovering, of course. And this was just an outside, um, like, uh, metal stand, so I'll, it'll probably end up going back outside 
when the weather gets nicer and I'll have some plants out there. This is Deliciosa. I don't want to cut off her old leaf quite yet because she has just been growing for me and I love her. And um, yeah. <laughs> and then I just have this little cocoyer steak in here that I got from Amazon. I got this beauty and can we just admire how beautiful she is? <laughs> All right, and then back here we have Brina. I think she was getting unhappy because she was kind of in the sun during the day. So you can see some uh, browning on the tips here, but I've since moved her over more where she doesn't get direct sunlight. So hopefully that will help. This is Geralt. Some bigger uh, leaves down at the bottom there, but look at that. So beautiful. And then this is Mako. Just living its best life right here, honestly. So happy. <laughs> and then this is Cambra. Cambra and ferns in general have just been the bane of my existence, but I am trying to make it happy by putting it right by the humidifier, so wish me luck. It does have a couple new little um, offshoots and little baby down there, so here's hoping. And I actually really like, I have this uh, little piece of wood in here, this tree branch basically, that I put in there and I really like how that looks. I feel like it's so much better than that coca coir or, or like the moss pole. So I don't know, those ones are kind of meh. <laughs> and then here we have some more succulents that are propagating. This is Chikorita. She is so beautiful. Oh. <laughs> and then we have Athena. This is Andromeda. I love how she comes in all pink like that and then it fades. So beautiful. And then I actually, the stake here is some rose bush uh, branches that we cut off as our rose bush was getting a little bit too big. And then here is Domino. She's so, like, she can be kind of a drama queen, but she is so beautiful. Like, just look at that leaf. Oh my gosh. So cute. She's been loving that humidifier so much. Then down here, this is a little offshoot of Athena. This is Lacant I got from Plantarina. Again, just some uh, sticks from the rose bush. Down here, um, I'm hoping to get this one to root. This is a Philodendron Florida Ghost. And I just have it in some moss and trying to get it humidity and then, whoops, heat from the heater down here. And same with this Skindapsis Trubii Moonlight that you can see. Then I have a little succulent from Suck Stew, Suck Studio. This is Shay. She was also fighting off some spider mites and has since gotten rid of them and has some beautiful new leaves. So cute, I love her. This is Cresselia, my other plant from Plantarina. And I really like it. I got this little pot from uh, the Target like dollar spot. And I just put water in here and then you can see that little, that little piece of um, string down here that just sucks up the water to water it. Super easy, I really like it. And this plant has really been liking it as well. This is my kind of sad corner. Um, this is, they all were fighting off spider mites. These two were kind of sent to die and I saw they still had green, so I'm hopeful that they'll come back. Um, so this is Banunu, the big or biggest one of the banana plants. And it has a new leaf, so that's kind of my main hope here. <laughs> and then this is Kawela. You can see, guys, you can see there's green. Like, there, it's hope is not lost. 
I'm hopeful. <laughs> this is Seville. This is a parlor palm, by the way. And, uh, yeah. We, we shall see if this one can come back. I cut off pretty much all the other leaves, so wish me luck. <laughs> this is Cresha. She is a coleus. Got it from Weston's grandma. I love, love, love this red coloring. And then these kind of little purple blue flowers. So cute. All right, over here, I love this pot, by the way, from Target. So cute. I just have some succulents in it. It looked a lot nicer when I first planted it. Now it's kind of looking a little bit rough, so I may need to redo that. But honorable mention, this one's so cute. I love it. I don't know why, but the color is just beautiful. So different than the rest. I love it. And then this is my Moonshine Sansevieria. I got it from Target for literally $10, you guys. That is insane. Looks like it needs a little bit of water, but she is a cutie pie. This is the offshoot from Perp Reynolds that I had cut off Perp Reynolds and this grew. So, so cute. This is Vader. Um, came from that same set as Prisha. Not doing so well. I don't know that that one's going to survive, but there you go. There's that. <laughs> then we have a bunch of Sansevieria here. So we have Paddington. This is Ember. This is just an offshoot of Luna. Um, this is Atla and Ark. This is Jackie. And then you can see back there that is Ophidris. It's a type of snake, <laughs> in case you're wondering. So there's those guys. And then here's Marjorie, my string of hearts. Obviously it looks sad up here, but she is trailing all the way up the window here as well as um, along the windowsill. And I just have a little propagation here. Hopeful that maybe it will root. Then over here we have Frisa. Got it from Bachman's. And these cute little pots. I really like those. Then we will come back Actually, no, we'll do this one next. Um, so this is the little bookshelf that I redid. Um, I actually thrifted this bookshelf from Savers. And yeah, it's more of like a propagation set slash selling shelf. So let's look through here. So this is our bowl. So cute. And you can see a little variegated leaf back there. Lots of new growth. Pretty happy here. Then a bunch of different propagations. Some honorable mentions in here are the uh, Skindapsis Moonlight Trubii, my Stendaliana Albo, and then under those is the oh, is my um, Cebu Blue cutting. So I'm hopeful that all of these will root. Otherwise you can kind of see the rest there. This is Bach. Kind of sad, wasn't quite sure how to take care of it. And now I've kind of figured it out a little bit more. Um, kind of was sent to die, but has been hanging in there. So fingers crossed that it continues to be happy and does have some new growth. So that makes me happy. We have some bamboo and honestly guys i'm so happy so i thrifted this and this and i think they're so beautiful and then this i got from the our favorite little greenhouse here in minnesota down here we have vera propagation propagation here's a couple that i will be selling um this one's already sold back there we have drogo we have Yuvia, which is umbrella in Spanish. Uh, not umbrella, oh my gosh. Which is rain in Spanish. And then there's little Bubba's offshoot. And this really cute holder from Target. 
And lastly, for the living room kitchen area, we have this table, my newest addition. So oh, I'm in love with it, honestly. Like I've actually tried to decorate it and keep it looking nice. So just down here, a couple of shipping uh, materials as well as some terracotta pots. And then we have Burke, my Mikens, doesn't have a name quite yet. <laughs> This is Raphael. Raphael got a little bit damaged in shipping and I got Raphael from Gabriella Plants and that is such an amazing company because I sent in that it got damaged and literally the next day they mailed out this little cutie. Can't remember its name right now, but it is cute. Then a couple of Monstera leaf cuttings. I cannot remember this guy's name. I kind of rescued him from a grocery store, but he does have a new leaf. So there you go. There's that. <laughs> and then lastly is this cutting. So, or some cuttings. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you in part two.